Hey, what's up you guys? Sentry Productions here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Select Venom figure. Well, man, what do I say first? Uh, Diamond Select Toys has been doing such a great job with these. Uh, I, I can't even believe it. As far as the new pieces of articulation they've introduced, um, as far as how, uh, how far they've come from when they first started releasing these guys to now, uh, sculpt-wise, is just incredible. The paint applications are spot on, like they always have. I mean, just look at the sculpting marks in this. I mean, every piece of this figure has been touched, and, and there's been a detail added to some particular spot of it. Um, whether it be the, the paint applications thrown onto the torso or maybe the muscle definitions. I mean, look at the individual little cut marks in the suit. It really gives him that symbiote type of feel like something's been, something has uh, taken over his body. I mean, it's just, it's really hard to explain. It just looks great. Can't believe it. And um, if we're talking about articulation here, this thing is has got everything you need. Uh, it's perfect. And if that's not enough, it comes with like, what, eight or nine accessories? It's just really awesome. Definitely worth the $20 you can pick it up at your local comic book store for. Uh, let's do some size comparisons real quick. Um, so here we've got the Flash Thompson Venom. And uh, of course, if you know that Marvel Select, everyone knows that Marvel Selects are a little bit bigger than your average six inch figure. And if you didn't know that, you do now. And uh, so this guy's a little bit taller. So you can see just how tall this Venom is, uh, which is crazy. Uh, so let's pull him out of here and put in the Sinister Six box set Venom, which I always thought was a great figure. Uh, entails the Series 5 Sabretooth mold. Um, so that is awesome. That's not Fearsome Foes. I'm pretty sure it's Sinister Six. So you can see how much taller he is than Emmy. I mean, he's not even on the screen. You can't even really see him. So he is huge. And then real quick, just for reference, just in case you guys wanted to know what he looks like next to uh, one of the newer Marvel Selects, uh, the Spider-Man from last year. Here you go. So you can see that if you do want to put, pit him up against Spider-Man here, go for it. You're good. You're golden. So yeah, so... I mean, it's a, it's a really nice figure, so I just want to show you guys the head sculpt before I do uh, change it, because I've got multiple head sculpts. I want to show you guys what how I pose them, what accessories I add on them, what I think makes them look more badass. As you can see, this head sculpt is really nice. you got some of the that uh, venom ooze coming out, and venom spit. This, even the tongue's got some crazy details on it. It's got, like, veins popping out of it and stuff. Just awesome. It's got these like little swirls for the eyes. I think it just looks great. So just pop that off. Here's my favorite head. This is the one that he comes in the package with. His teeth grinning. It's just giving a fat grin. Just very, very uh, sinister. That's a good word. And then of course he comes with these hands, um, which I should show. You can see the details are followed on those as well. Um, you even got the little slits for his uh, web shooters right there where he shoots out his web. It's a really nice detail, um, and they're kind of in different positions, as you can tell, but you can just pop those off, and then you can go ahead and put on my favorite hands for him. I like to make the figure just look kind of simple. I think it makes him look a little creepier, uh, so I usually have his feet together like this, him up like this, put his hands out like this, or maybe I'll turn him around so you can see the web shooters. And then just stick him up against the wall. I mean, I think he looks so badass like that, doesn't he? He just looks crazy. It's awesome. Um, so you can do that. And then, the, of course, the best accessory. Well, first off, let me show you this one. If you want to have him, like, half changing in from um, Eddie Brock to into Venom, you can, you can have that as well. There's lots of nice details on this, as you can see. But if this is not enough for you, then you can go ahead and just add on the ultimate accessory. And this just slips right on. Now he's got two extra arms. And what is that? F five extra heads. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. And each of these heads is posable. Um, you can pull them off. Yeah, I don't see why you would need to, though. Um, the hand's fully posable as well. So if you could just go ahead and take a look at this crazy attachment we got here. Uh, and the details are, once again, followed on this as well, even on the individual heads. I mean, for $20, this is a, this is a deal right here. I mean, this is something that you should be paying 30 bucks for, but you're getting it for the low, low price uh, of $20. So I think it's a great deal. I'll definitely jump on it if you see it. I only saw it once, so. Uh, but you can see these are fully posable, and they got pieces of articulation on there as well. 
and of course the details I've been talking about this entire video I mean just really like look at the sculpt I mean it's just really amazing it, it, I, mean, I don't know how they do it I just, I've never seen anything like that and they just really like to showcase their skills on just certain figures and it's awesome Diamond Select always maintains like a a uh, a standard for their figures but sometimes they just go hog wild on stuff and that's the stuff I really like from them just great it looks great you can even see there's like an extra head sticking out of there but you can see they're all grinning so if you have this grinning one on it's just perfect um, and of course if you want to turn the heads so they're all looking one way or you can turn them all kind of so they're looking somewhere else in case you know something else is going on somewhere else I mean that's freaking awesome right there and this attachment I mean it just fits perfectly on there you can see it just slides right over the uh, thing I mean that is an accessory right there uh, that's worth buying the figure for just that so overall I would highly recommend getting this figure like I said it for the price it's it's at it deserves to be way more and it's just an all-around really fun figure um, as far as articulation I'll go through it real quick um, head goes up and down. It's on like a swivel type deal. You don't got too much rotation on that, but the waist you do. Um, it goes into like DC type of joints, and that goes up, down, side, side, uh, front, and back. That's a lot more than you than we're used to getting for Marvel Select. So they, they did a great job on that too. Um, and then cut halfway above the knee, uh, in between the thigh right there, and then of course one knee joint. And then we go down into the feet and there's only one piece of articulation that's at the foot that goes up and down if I would have one gripe I think it would be a good idea to um, to add an ankle swivel right here um, because if you could see this leg right here you could see the plastic is uh, warped a little bit so it separated itself from the bottom the bottom piece of this the bottom leg so it kinda gives his posture like a slanted type of deal so when I go to stand him up He's kind of slanted a little bit, so I think that if there was a swivel on the ankle, that would have eliminated the problem. But that's just like a little tiny gripe. Um, the, but they have they have introduced the swivel on another figure, so that's one thing about it that I wish they would have added. But other than that, I mean, this figure is just super awesome. Um, you've seen all the pieces of articulation. You can get them in tons of different poses. You can you have a bunch of accessories to choose from. So I would say this is a total pickup. And I would just say, do not pass on this guy, because you will be regretting it. Alright guys, Century Productions here, and I will see you later. Peace. Why are you still here? Go to bkbn.net. Giant Man out.